In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started on your controversial issues paper once you have your topic. So I think that I'd like to write about facial recognition technology. I'm worried about the use of it, that it might be discriminatory, that it might violate people's privacy, but I need more information about it before I know how I'm going to feel about it and what argument I want to make in my paper. So the first database I'm going to look in is a, called Opposing Viewpoints into Context. And if you try to use this database when you're not on our campus, you'll be asked to log in and you should use the same login information that you use for Canvas or MyCerritos. So the database is open now and I'm just going to do a simple search for facial recognition technology and click on it. And one reason why this database is so good for this type of research is that it kind of could be your one-stop shop. You might be done once you get here because it has all the different kinds of sources that a good researcher needs in order to put together a compelling argument. Um, it starts off with an overview, which is um, a background information on your topic. So if you know you're interested in something like facial recognition technology, but you're not sure how it works, this will let you know um, all the information you need so that you can describe it um, with knowledge in your paper. And if you want to use this for your paper, it even provides a citation for you. It has place, it has links where you can um, send it to yourself, download it, print it, get the citation, like I said before, and you can save it to Google Drive or to Microsoft OneDrive. If we go back and look at the rest of the results, you can see there are featured viewpoints, which are pro-con arguments, academic journal articles, which are research articles on your topic, um, infographics, more reference sources. So if you, the problem or the concern you have about the use of facial recognition technology is that you're worried that our government will use it to spy on its citizens, you might wanna read this article about domestic surveillance. It provides you with images, with audio, which is like, you know, radio shows, newspaper articles, magazine articles, um, websites, and some statistics. And what's good about using the resources within this source is that all of the sources that have been included have been verified to be accurate. So this database is not going to contain any misinformation or malinformation. Um, it's going to contain information that the majority of experts in this topic think is providing you with good information. We have other databases that do similar things. And then we have um, Gale eBooks, which is kind of like the library's version of Wikipedia or really an online re reference center. So if I wanted more information about facial recognition, Oops, I misspelled it. That's the one thing you can't do. I can get more information about it so I can find out um, how it works, you know, from the Gale Encyclopedia of Science. I can look at how facial recognition works, not from a technology standpoint, but from our brain standpoint, right? So from the Gale Encyclopedia of Psychology, I can see how facial recognition is used as a biometric and crime um, and, and crime solving, like from the world of forensic science. And in this database, just like in the other one, if you see an article that you like, you can send it to Google Drive or, one, or OneDrive, email it to yourself, download it, and you can also get the citation. The last place I want to talk to you about is our library catalog. So, you know, we have a, thousands, hundreds of thousands of books, um, ebooks, videos, things like that. And books are often the best place to get um, background information on a topic because they're written to teach people about the topic. They don't presume that you already know a lot. And you just do a similar search in this database. I can look for facial recognition. I have 52 results. Um, 
I can limit to just things that are available online if I want. And I'm getting everything from ebooks to also um, videos, streaming videos. Um, so all of these sources are a great way to get started on your research for this paper. And some of them might be all you need. You might find everything you need to write a great argument right now, and then you can focus on writing your paper and reading this information. But if you need more information than what you can get in these sources here, please click on the next tab that says gathering information, and we'll show you some additional sources that will help you with your assignment.